to another video. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. Today's one, we're back with a what I eat in a day video. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's been a minute, hasn't it, since I last did one of these, so I'm really excited to be back filming like this kind of style. I have like mixed things up slightly recently, and what I mean by that is literally just like, I've been trying some new protein flavors. Like I'm really liking the chocolate brownie in my oats and stuff like that. So I thought it was a good day to just you know, share some of these with you. But yeah, I'll just jump straight into it and I'll pop the macros and everything on the screen like my normal kind of format. And before we do anything, if you could hit this video with a like, it would really help and support my channel and is so appreciated and we'll go ahead. For breakfast, I'm just going to make like a chunky chocolate protein oats kind of bowl. All the toppings, I like to mix my toppings up like as much as I can, that way you just don't ever really get bored. Um, and there's so much you can do with oat balls, like that is why they're my always like favorite sort of breakfast go-to. Some big chunky oats here, just using some almond and sweetened, or I have quite liked recently using oat milk too. I'm using this chocolate brownie protein. These are the toppings by the way. Cashew nut butter for the toppings, desiccated coconut, some sweet freedom chocolate spread, some mixed summer fruit berries, I'm gonna micro those in a sec, some flaked almonds, and then I'm gonna use about half a banana. I'm measuring out 40 grams of these oats. I always use a plastic container just because I always find if you cook them in like a ceramic bowl, you can never get the consistency right, like they always end up overcooking, um, so yeah. This is a definite must have. 200 grams of almond milk. Just whilst I'm waiting for my oats to um, cook in the microwave, I just wanted to show you, these have got to be up there, like one of my favorite Gymshark leggings ever. Such a flattering color like on any skin tone. I haven't worn a white sports bra in so long. So I'm using this chocolate brownie protein. I find this is like way thicker, which is quite nice in oats. So I'm just gonna add that. Just 15 grams of the protein. 40 grams of these berries. Then I'm just gonna micro these literally just for a minute. So it's 34 grams of banana. And then now just for the cashew butter, which is just, oh my God, my favorite thing ever. Less than 400 calories and so, so tasty. I'm just gonna sit and eat this goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Breakfast will just always hold a special place in my heart, honestly, my favorite meal. You know some days when your oat balls just hit different, this was one of them. Um, really like that chocolate brownie flavor. Like if you're someone who loves like jam, that is the best thing, like just like uh, microwave your berries, mash them up a little bit. Oh, we've got some sunshine, love that. I'm just going to have a quick coffee and some water and then get to the gym. Yeah, trust me. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to just be right behind me. No, that's not how it works. No, you're not supposed to let me drop to the floor. Extra on hips through, drop straight. <laughs> drop straight. Got you. Come on, now. just really close your eyes and just screw up. Whoa! <laughs> so I'm just making a quick pre workout. I'm trying a new flavour. It is lime mint mojito. I really like the flavours from this brand. Not sponsored by the way, but just to let you know. Um, and for me, ice is a must for pre-workout. Firstly, um, my old house, we had like, it was an old fridge, but it had an ice maker and I miss that 
so much. Like we've got quite a small uh, freezer here, so it's so difficult. I'm just looking at Penelope's like sat staring at herself in the mirror. Oh, I've got to show you this. Looking at yourself in the mirror. Hmm? She's, by the way, I get so many questions on her um, buster collar. It's literally because she has got allergies. So all under here, you can see like, she just tries to eat away at herself. So that is why she wears that. Oh, that smells so good. I absolutely love mojitos. Probably like one and a half kind of scoops. Oh my God. That tastes so similar. I'm really confused actually, that is really good. It's even quite a similar colour, all it needs is some mint leaves and you know, we're sipping cocktails in the gym. What is it with um, car lighting always being the best? Like when I'm in my house, I find it so hard to get just like bright lighting. I've got my pre-workout that I've just been sipping on. Honestly, really, really good. Honestly, I feel like I'm sipping on mojito and I'm just about to head into the gym. I've got my workout planned out. It's a leg, leg day and quad focused. Come on, let me in. Um, hip thrust, squats, leg press, reverse lunge and some kickbacks. Um, there's some light funky machines I've not actually used in here before, so I'm gonna try do uh, do use some of those in my session. Um, I've been loving my leg days lately. Like it's nice seeing yourself get stronger. So. everything I feel like on my YouTube videos. Um, so I've just got a quick shower, I've done it again. I just got a quick shower anyway. Um, had the best leg day ever. My camera like died whilst I was in the car park, but I'm actually quite glad it happened in the car rather than like midway through my session. So I've just used my phone to like do some videos anyway. That happened to my old self and I've just like thought, okay, I won't be able to video today. Um, but you know, we made it through. I'm just looking, I've just got distracted. I'm so upset. One of my favorite plants has completely died. Didn't know, literally I cannot keep a single plant alive. And I'm just gonna make some lunch now. So I've got some turkey rashes. Um, I'll show you what I'm gonna make, but this is just one of my favorite things ever. So satisfying and like, like a heartly kind of meal. Turkey rashes, these are amazing. High protein, 32 cows. Uh, I get these from Asda and they're not as like hard as the Aldi ones, so they're a must. Um, I'm gonna use an avocado, some baby leaf and rocket salad, my last trusty pita, obsessed with those, and some eggs. So here is lunch. We've got kind of like a turkey, egg, some spinach, sorry, some um, salad and some avocado. On. I thought I'd lift it up because otherwise you can't see. But yeah, honestly, it's just so, so good. I could just, oh, I just love this. I've also just put some tomato ketchup on top, of course. I just thought I'd chop it up so you can actually see. Delicious. Right, now the plan is to make a smoothie. I'm like obsessed with smoothies at the moment. You know when you go through those phases, that's, I'm currently going through one of those. And I'm fancying like a berry kind of protein smoothie today. Yesterday I had a mango one. They are, oh my God, I love mango banana smoothies. These always make me feel so like 
could probably be in the head, but I just feel so healthy and energized like straight afterwards. So I'm literally just gonna put 250 grams of these like mixed, like very medley type thing. And I'm just using 20 grams of oh, <laughs> cookies and cream whey protein. Just some milk, 250 grams. <laughs> here is the finished smoothie bowl you could also make it in, obviously like into a smoothie if you'd prefer but i just wanted it a bit thicker today you just like add some extra water or milk but yeah this is so good and then i've just sprinkled some desiccated coconut on the top and that is literally all you need really it's super high volume which is always one of my faves mm -mm -mm. this is so nice because it's not like too sweet you know and it's um like too much and sour hey so we're back and it is dinner time and i'm really fancying like some like chicken like in a sauce so i've just had a quick look in my fridge and i've got like i think i'm gonna make like a chicken sriracha type thing like a tomato sauce using some chopped tomatoes and then this add some seasoning leave it to like marinate for a little bit but i'll show you anyway three chicken breasts and then i'm just gonna like mix up some seasoning paprika garlic like my usuals some hot chili sauce mixed with some tomato 30 grams of sriracha mixed with like one tin for three chicken breasts use some lazy chopped garlic just pop the chicken in so I've just put my chicken in the fridge to like marinate for about 20 minutes. Like the longer the better, but if you're like stuck on time, you don't need to worry about marinating it. You can just pop it straight in the oven. Just uh, started like steaming some sweet potatoes. I'm really fancy and it's so random. Like sweet potato mash, God knows why. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make something. I didn't really plan tonight's dinner, I just, Gone with what I fancy. <laughs> just whilst I'm waiting for everything, um, I just wanted to mention something that I talked about a bit on a caption this week, which is basically like it was only a few years ago where I was someone who was eating healthy like 90% of the time and going to the gym. Like I didn't struggle with like going to the gym, but I was wondering like why am I not getting results? Like why didn't I look a certain way that I was? That I felt like I was putting the time into and stuff. And like long story short, obviously there's loads of ins and outs, but it was just literally down to I was I was trying to imitate someone else's like diet and what worked for them rather than focusing on like what works for me. And I had so many like negative common tendencies to cut out like certain food groups altogether and there were almost always like all my favorite types of foods to eat like mainly like carbohydrates as well and i ne i never like i didn't get the results that i was hoping for doing so if you can relate to what i'm saying all it comes down to is just you've really got to ask yourself and challenge yourself like sit down and just question yourself like why have i got this mentality that i can't have like x y or z certain food like actually look into it and research it and i can guarantee it's probably a complete myth that you've made up in your own head or like that's pretty inaccurate it all just comes down to like you really should focus on you yourself and focus on the foods that you love uh, not what sandra at the gym you know what she hates or loves and don't compare to someone else's physique like i could eat your diet and get completely resu different results you could eat my diet and get you know completely different results just very different from person to person and that's the best thing i learned when i finally sort of realized that and it ticked in my head reaching your goals should always be enjoyable and like 
maintainable, realistic, all of that. You will have phases which will feel much more uncomfortable than others. That's because you're trying something completely new um, and you won't be quite used to it and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch on that because it was something I really struggled with. Um, also, by the time this video is up, I will have uploaded a beginner's guide to getting started in the gym. So definitely give that a check out gonna say check out give that a watch um if you are someone who is just like starting out and things so i've just popped the chicken fillets with the sauce i'm gonna pop this in the oven put the temperature in the oven with the chicken in to 200 degrees and that'll cook in about 25 to half an hour just keep an eye on it i'm just gonna set a timer these are out of the steamer they're so soft This has just come out of the oven. Oh, here is my dinner. Um, there's still like one and a half chicken breasts left, but it smells so nice. Um, absolutely love that sriracha sauce. I'm just gonna sit down and eat this. So I got, I took Penelope on another little walk a second ago, it wasn't a second ago, ages ago actually, um, and I just ordered some frozen yoghurt from my favourite like local frozen yoghurt place. I've just got plain loaves of biscuit in size medium, honestly you get absolutely loads um, and it's really like low sugar and stuff like that, just my favourite thing ever. I did used to go like seriously all out with the toppings, but it got a bit ridiculous. Like probably around Christmas time last year, I was just getting these daily with like chocolate brownie on top, the whole shebang. Um, so I kind of put my own toppings on now. So I'm just gonna get in the shower. I'll pop this in the fridge for now. And we're just, um, should we watch a movie in bed? Have we seen anything good? Um, probably put Netflix on or something. It's quite late, like we've, I've worked. What time is it? Um, Quarter past nine, but yeah. Um, I'm just trying to quick tidy up, um, but I was sat on my laptop like working away. I really enjoy what I do and I'm so passionate. Um, otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it or like put the hours in, if that makes sense. Just like anything, I guess. Okay, this is Mason's one that he's just made. Like, how good does that look with the toppings? I know you need to, uh... You, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a bit of cashew butter, some flaxseed. I always think flaxseed looks more, looks like it tastes nicer than it actually is. <laughs> That's an opinion, probably unpopular and a bit of sweet freedom. Social dilemma. So, we're watching Devil on Netflix. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you would like to see in the next ones. And let me know, as always, if you try any of my recipes in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, I'd love you to stick around by subscribing to my channel and also liking this video, supporting your girl. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bop. Bop.